Hey, what's up, everybody? We're back. We're out in Skyhold today, and we are doing the Way of the Reaver Warrior Specialization Quest. Now, if you haven't unlocked your Warrior Specialization trainers, check out the links in the video description. There's a link to a video that will explain how you get that done. But once you have your specialization trainers invited out to Skyhold, what you want to do is come over here by your vendors. You can see Bonnie Sims' stall over my left shoulder. Pull up the quest map here, show you where we're at, okay? You want to find this stairway. Going to head up one set of stairs. Get to the top, we're going to hang a right, go up one more set of stairs. And then we get up here, we're going to hang a left. Go through this door. Then one more, and on the other side will be our specialization trainers. And Breaker is the one you want to talk to for Way of the Reaver. Alright, so now we have the Way of the Reaver quest. We're going to go to our journal, go to Current Quests, Inquisitor's Path, select Way of the Reaver. Let's check out what we need to pick up. We need to get a book called Writing on Reaver Methods. We need to pick up three Infusion Primers, and we need 20 Rash Vine. Now, I've already done some killing, and Infusion Primers are things you can randomly pick up out in the world, but I am going to show you where you get all three at the special spots that are just for this quest and we will be back in just a sec to get started alright so we're back and we're looking for writing on reaver methods now this book is going to be inside the tavern in skyhold over by where iron bull is either sitting or will eventually be sitting just depending on what conversations you've had with him up to this point so we head in the tavern we're gonna head around the back side of the stairs and over on the uh, side of this barrel here you're gonna find the book so I want to get out of there so she's not singing over top of me so uh, you'll notice that we picked up the book but it didn't update the quest it's a bug don't worry it'll be there for you when you go uh, to complete this quest I just wanted to point that out so you didn't panic when you saw that not update and think you have to do something else if you haven't grabbed uh, Iron Bull yet or you chose not to recruit him, I'll be back in just a sec to see, uh, show you where you can also go to pick up Writing on Reaver Methods. All right, so we're back, and I want to show you an alternate location you can use to pick up the book for the Way of the Reaver quest uh, specialization. If for some reason you didn't recruit Iron Bull uh, or you don't have him yet, um, you can come out to Valroyo and there is a vendor over on this side of the map right here this vendor sells the codex entries books however you want to uh, consider them that you for one reason or another have made decisions in the game that have prevented you from picking them up so they're now locked out to you if you come over here and go to this merchant and go to this tab right here you'll see there's a bunch of items here among them will be the way of the reaver or writing on reaver methods uh, and I already picked it up and I've recruited iron bull so it's not here but this is the alternate location you would go to just in case you decided to say hey iron bull I don't want you with me and uh, decided to not recruit him so just an alternate way to pick up the book and we'll be back with uh, more of the quest in just a sec alright we're back we're on the hunt for infusion primers now the infusion primers are gonna be found out in Crestwood. If you don't have the zone unlocked yet, you'll remember that when you came into Skyhold, Varric said that he wanted to introduce you to someone and he wanted you to come meet him up on the battlements. If you haven't done that yet, you need to go do that. And I'm going to show you where he's at right now. Once you speak to him, you will get a war table operation that will show up 
just south of the Storm Coast as a little pyramid that says, find the warden. It's going to have like a green little uh, rift over top of it on the map. So right here, down there, is where Varric would be standing if you haven't spoken to him yet. I'll go ahead and do that if you haven't, and that will make um, Find the Warden show up on your war table as an operation. Once again, it's just south of the Storm Coast on the Ferelden side. Do that, and I'll meet you out in Cre uh, Crestwood in just a sec. All right, so we're out in Crestwood now. Before we go after our infusion primers, I wanted to show you the easy way to get all your rash vine. Uh, if you want to go hunt down your rash vine, you can easily do that out in the Exalted Plains and in the Emerald Graves. It's on rocks. It's on trees. You can definitely go out there and uh, kill the stuff off out in those zones. Pick up your rash vine. You'll be good. However, Exalted Plains it starts at level 10. Uh, Emerald Graves starts at level 12. Sometimes when you have the specialization quest, you're only level 8. And if you're playing on Nightmare... Um, the less stuff you have to deal with before you get your specializations locked down, the better. Uh, my experience, uh, that may not be your experience. but uh, So I wanted to show you the easy way to get Rash Vine. Before you get your infusion primers, you're going to have to drain the lake out in Crestwood. Because one of them is over here, and you're just not getting over here without draining the lake. So, once you come out to Crestwood, you're going to start at the Northgate Camp. If you make your way east, you're going to run into the village of Crestwood, you're going to talk to the mayor and do some quests for him which will lead you to draining the lake, closing the rift, and once the rift has been closed, this vendor will show up out in Crestwood. So that's where we're at now. We're going to go over and interact with the vendor and we will find, if we tab over to the crafting materials tab, that the vendor sells rash vine. So my opinion Buy your 20 rash vine here, spend the gold, just get it out of the way. Uh, it's quick, it's easy, you don't have to fight anything to do it. And if you really are uh, only level 8 or level 9, especially on Nightmare, not having to fight you know, level 10, level 11, level 12, and up uh, bad guys in order to get this, is just uh, it's a much better way. So uh, this is my recommendation, but if you want to go out to um, find it on your own, you can definitely find it in the Emerald Graves, and the Exalted Plains. So we'll be back in just a sec with our infusion primers. All right, so now we're out in Crestwood. We're looking for our infusion primers. Uh, there are three specific spots with enemies that you'll be able to kill that will have a guaranteed infusion primer drop. I'm going to show you where those spots are, and we'll pick up our infusion primers and then complete our quest. Right now, we are at Northgate Camp. This is the camp you start at when you get into the zone. Uh, the first group of enemies you need to kill is real close to this. I'm going to walk you over there because uh, just to avoid you having to deal with any type of pathfinding on this and following a line on a map and all that nonsense. So we're going to head out of camp, head up this hill, and when you top the hill, we're going to hang a left. Okay? And we're going to walk over in this direction. And yeah, I'll show you the quest map here again, just so you can see it. And when you get to the top here, you see that house down there? That's where we're going, because that's where the bad guys are. So I'm going to top this hill, and you will see the group of enemies that you need to kill right down there. I'll pop up our map again and show you where we are, so you can see the line, in case that's how you like to navigate. Uh, but once you kill them, you will get your first infusion primer, and I will uh, I'll stop the video here, and I'll pick back up once they're dead. That way you don't have to sit through all the fighting. All right, so the bad guys are dead. We'll loot and grab our first infusion primer, and we will be back in just a sec for our second. So we're back. We're out in Crestwood. We're looking for our second infusion primer. Uh, the easiest way to go to get this one is, is going to be starting at the village of Crestwood. Now... In order to get at this one, you're going to have to drain the lake. So you're need, going to need to do some questing out here. Um, you can talk to the mayor of Crestwood. He's going to send you over here to take this keep. Uh, from the keep, you're going to go and wind up draining the lake and uh, killing off the rift that's at the bottom of the lake. Once that's all done, uh, the sun comes out, all's well in the world, and you will be able to get to this next pack of enemies. So... As I said, best place to start is the village of Crestwood, and we will head out 
and go track them down. So once again, I'll walk you over there just so you can see where it's at, if that's how you like to navigate, and if not, uh, when we get over there, I will pull up our quest map to show you the line I took to get over here. Okay, so that house up on the hill is called the Fisherman's Hut. And our next group of enemies is going to be located at the top here. Alright, so they are right up here. You can see them on the map. There they are. And once again, I'll stop the video and come back once I get them killed. Uh, that way you don't have to sit through all the fighting. Alright, so our second Reaver is dead. We will go ahead and loot. And there is our next Infusion Primer. I will be back with the third in just a sec. All right, we're back, and we're looking for a third and final infusion primer to finish off the quest. Uh, this one is going to be most easily accessed from Three Trout Farm Camp. You're going to find this camp east of Carabernache, the keep you had to take in order to drain the lake so that you could get to the second infusion primer if you needed it. And it is also going to be southeast of the village of Crestwood, so... Just to give you a, a little, uh, some pathfinding details on how to get to the camp if you haven't found it just yet. And from the camp, we're going to head down in this direction. Uh, there's a quarry down here, also a dragon. You absolutely do not have to fight the dragon to get this. Uh, you just need to get near him. <laughs> so uh, we're going to head out and go check this out. Once again, I will walk you down there just because I know some people really like to... Uh, see the walk and other people really like to just see the path on the map so I'll show you both as always just to keep everyone happy so once we get here we're actually gonna head up this hill go through these little pillars here keep walking up here and when we get to the top here you'll get a look at uh, kind of what the lay of the land is. You can see the dragon down there and we're actually going to be going just to the right of where the dragon is. And just a little tidbit of knowledge, if you are thinking about starting a rogue playthrough, if you choose the assassin specialization. The assassins that you have to kill uh, are actually located in these exact same spots for that quest. So if you decide to do a second playthrough, uh, this uh, hopefully will help you sort that out as well. So these are not the bad guys you need to kill, but we will take them out anyways. Alright, so those guys are dead. Not the guys we needed to kill, but we didn't want them following us over here to the guys we actually need to kill. So we're going to head around here towards this wooden structure, and that is where we are going to find the last group of guys that have to be killed in order to get our third infusion primer. So we will be back in just a sec, and I will show you the loot, and then we'll head back to Skyhold and get our craft on and finish up the quest. Alright, so last Reaver dead. Let's loot. There is our third and final infusion primer, and now we're going to head back to Skyhold, and we will go to the requisition table, and that will help us complete our quest. So we'll be back with that in just a sec. All right, welcome back. We are now back out in Skyhold, and what you want to do is head over here in the corner to where Cassandra likes to hang out with her two best friends, James and Jaime. We're going to head in this door here and we're going to find our requisition table. Pop open the requisition table and what you're going to need to do is craft this requisition and then you're going to go over and talk to your trainer and that will complete the quest. That's the part that hangs a lot of people up. Uh, you can see that it does recognize that we have 
the way of the reaver, riding on reaver methods, even though it wasn't showing it on the screen there a second ago. Uh, so it's just a bug, nothing to worry about. We're going to go ahead and craft this. And then we're going to go talk with our trainers, and we'll be back with that in just a sec. All right, so we're out in Skyhold. We've collected all the materials we needed for our quest. We crafted our item at the requisition table, and now we're going to talk to Breaker and choose our specialization. If you forgot where the specialization trainers were, let me show you one more time. So here are where your vendors hang out, and then here's the stairway that you want to head up. Okay, Once you follow the stairway up, you're going to come through one, two doors, and that is going to lead you out here to where the specialization trainers are. Now, something I want to point out here, it says, commit to the Reaver class specialization, all of their specializations cut off. What that means is, once you do this, you'll no longer be able to specialize in any of the other specializations. Even if you reset all your talent points or your ability points, whatever you want to call them, uh, there is no way to undo this. So, it's important that you've done your research, you found that this is absolutely what you wanted to do. Because once you choose this, there's no going back. So just a quick caveat there. And that's it. So you are now a Reaver, and the quest is over with. I hope this helped. Please like the video and sub if you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment either in the video discussion or uh, pop up to the channel discussion and put your comment there. Send me a message, uh, anything I can do to help. You know, I'm always uh, trying to respond to questions as quick as I can. So uh, thanks for watching. Take care.